Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the one, the only, Tooth Teacher Tuesday with your host, Dr. Steven Zahm. Today, talking about a question that um, only recently I've had a couple people ask about, kind of out of the blue, and it's something that's involved me having to do some research of my own because it was something I was unfamiliar with myself, but the question more or less has something to, you know, is along the lines of, Dr. Zom, I've been hearing a lot about this new kind of toothpaste that has some funny naming ingredient in it. I can't remember the name, but it's basically tooth mineral and it's supposed to be an alternative to fluoride toothpaste. Is that on the up and up? Is it legitimate or is this just another anti-fluoride fad that will come and go. And so like I said, I had to do some digging to figure out what patients were asking about because this was not something that we were really taught in dental school. But what, what this question boils down to is it's not a new thing as I found out, but it's becoming more publicly aware of, more in the public eye. And that is toothpaste that is fluoride free and instead contains what's called hydroxyapatite. That's the funny word people are asking about. And what hydroxyapatite is, is basically it's the mineral that makes up the majority of your minimal, your mineral content of your teeth. It's what gives your, especially your enamel, that hardness and so we've we've talked at length in the past about fluoride and you know fluoride acts by encouraging that hydroxyapatite to stay strong what this alternative toothpaste is is basically the mineral is isolated and contained within the toothpaste itself and as I said, it turns out this isn't even something new. This was developed decades ago by NASA um, because they were finding that because of the lack of gravity, it was affecting the mineral content, not of just teeth, but also bones of astronauts. And so they basically made this paste that's got the mineral in it. And, you know, here we are a couple de decades later and it's, starting to gain some traction in the public eye. And so through my digging, basically what I found is there's a lot of research in labs, not a whole lot of research on human subjects yet, but the research seems pretty promising. And a lot of the research, at least in labs, is showing that this hydroxyapatite toothpaste is comparable to the anti-cavity effect of fluoride toothpaste. And so obviously I would like to see more research coming out on actual human test subjects before I'd give it a glowing endorsement. But this is kind of an exciting development because again, we've talked a lot about fluoride and how it can be toxic at very high levels and what's in your toothpaste is minimal. But there's a huge wave going on of more you know, natural, less chemical healthcare, more holistic healthcare. And so whether you agree or disagree with fluoride, if this hydroxyapatite paste can truly have the same effect as fluoride without the controversy of being a chemical, I'm all for it. Because again, you're basically just, rather than putting fluoride on and having it strengthen the mineral itself, you're just directly applying the mineral to your teeth and, you know, even not just a topical effect, but inevitably some of it will get into your system and it'll get recycled just like any other mineral in your body, calcium and magnesium and all the other 
minerals we talk about. So basically to answer the question right now, research is promising. Um, as with anything, we don't want to get too eager and jump right into it, but this is something that I'm going to follow closely now that it's on my radar and see where it takes us. So if, you know, if, if you hear about it, again, don't be keen to boot the fluoride toothpaste altogether, but give it a try. Maybe alternate it with your fluoride toothpaste. And yeah, like I said, I'm excited of, of where this, uh, where this could take us in dentistry. So this is probably new to you as well. So I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please let me know. And as always, thank you for tuning in to Tooth Teacher Tuesday. Have a great week, everyone.